गुड इवनिंग एंड वॉम वेलकम टू एवरी वन यू नो टूडे आई रियली फेल्थ की आई शुड बी At least I should sound happy because today is all about <laughs> happiness. Today is all about elevating happiness. You know, people started try uh, try to uh, get happiness by earning money, by you know getting fame, by working on their health, by doing so many other means. But still, you find people are chasing this much elusive happiness and today is all about that so warm welcome to all of you who are present now and also the, to the ones who will be watching us later on youtube my name is devya shah and radio diva is a small little initiative that we started during the first lockdown way back in july 2020 it was just started to vent our emotions first lockdown pehli baar aisa kuch hua tha aur hum sab ko pata nahi tha hum kaise react kare and we just thought let's catch up with people whom we know and be with people whom we don't know but eventually you know what happened this platform grew and we became and we transformed especially after second wave we transformed into a platform where experts from a variety of field they join they share their experiences their wisdom their life lessons with us helping us be better individuals so please be part of this happy go lucky community follow us on facebook and insta by the name of radio diva and do subscribe to our youtube channel by the same name so a warm warm welcome to everyone today i don't want to keep you away from our celebrity speaker that we have we have veena dhandia with us she is a life enrichment director she is internationally certified as an icf and pc c life which she will explain us better <laughs> relation she is a relationships and happiness coach she is a mentor m- motivational speaker anchor for cultural events she is a artist she is a author she has just written a book she is a nlp practitioner she is a professional listener and a corporate trainer she empowers people to enrich their lives to the next level of happiness so she you know really believes in people and her mission is to touch millions of life all across the globe so i am super excited to have veena dhandia with us a uh, such a honor such a pleasure to have you veena ma'am thank you so much for doing this with no, us no first of all please divya don't say ma'am like i'm just veena is great and uh, i'm very very happy to be here thank you for the opportunity uh, divya to uh, meet uh, so many other people here on the platform i uh, would it be very difficult for everyone to switch on their videos or i uh, for those who are comfortable it'd be nice to have some sort of um, eye contact or face contact if possible that will be wonderful so um thanks a lot for the introduction and uh, yes I, it took me some time but i realized that happiness is the ultimate goal of anything in life whether you are um whether you talk about relationships whether you talk about career and finance what whatever be it whether it's self growth whether it's um, passions your social circle what the end goal the end goal is happiness so i said all right so this is what it's going to be so how do we be happy no matter what no matter what because happiness is a choice do we all agree that happiness is a choice does it depend on us whether we want to be happy or does it not yes that name ji great i can't see anyone else no one's got the video on so i'm going to be very casual and uh, you know very interactive in that sense because the topic is such now if you were to ask me supposing what is happiness to you happiness to me is knowing that i have the power to solve any situation or problem that comes to me in front of me in my life and when i feel that power and i feel that i can do it and i can make it better in whichever way that gives me the true happiness and that is what brings me into a state of happiness so a state of happiness is the journey whatever you're doing in life here if you want if you are here and you want to get here so because you want a mercedes car or what you want a bigger house whatever it is it's good to be ambitious but first of all be content with the past be content with the past then only you can go on to your journey now when you're on this journey from here to here that is what actually matters 
because that is what's going to give you the happiness. Now, if you go from one point to the second point and you're dreading it, you're not happy, then the journey is not going to be happy. So by the time you get there, by the time you get there, it's not going to make much sense. So if I was to give an example of my coaching journey, let's say, so when I started and I wanted to become an ICF PCC, there was a lot of hard work involved and a lot of hours to put in, a lot of mentoring to be uh, supervised under and a lot of sessions, assessments to do, etc. Now, if I had taken each little bit as a dread, if I take each little bit as agony or despair, okay, there were a few moments here and there, but that's about it then I would not have enjoyed the journey. Now, because I enjoyed the journey, whether I got that or not, that had an added uh, impetus to it. And if I'm not going to be happy in my journey, so happiness is a daily thing. It's a state of being. Now, you might say, okay, bolna bohut asan hai, you know, all right. But we need to train our minds. It doesn't come essay, but we need to train our minds how to be happy. So happiness is really... What you think, what you say, and what you do. When all three are in harmony, that's where your state of being is. Because to be ambitious, you have to be happy first. And if you can be happy for no damn reason, for no damn reason, then that actually is the state of happiness. So the two types of happiness, there's one uh, that's hedonistic and what's eudynamic. So hedonistic is when you have the experiences and you derive pleasure from them, enjoyment from them. And, and eudynamic is when you learn from those experiences. Now, these experiences can be good, they can be bad, and that is how they... So from here, from the current state to the desired state, this is your journey, and the journey in between is going to be your happy journey. Am I making sense? To everyone, if you give me a thumbs up, if you feel that I'm making sense, right? <clears throat> okay. All right. So now what I feel is with happiness, how can you be happy? You can be happy if you're positive. All right. And how can you be positive? Positivity is the only way. Okay. Thanks for the thumbs up. Positivity is the only way to live life. Now, by being positive, I don't mean that you have to be a yes, yes person. Be high, yes for this, yes for this, that's your... Uh, but positivity means being able to take a negative situation and bring out a positive effect of it. When you can do that, when you can do that, it will start coming automatically. Once you start training yourself, start practicing it, then everything will seem so much better. For example, when you do a gratitude, when you do gratitude in the morning, so everyone's heard about gratitude is nothing new. But if you do gratitude every morning, you write five things that you're grateful about, whether it's material, immaterial, whatever, or you write 10 things. And you do it faithfully for 21 days or 30 days. But why, why does it make a difference? What is the science behind this? The science behind is, is you're not happy because you're not happy because you're grateful. Okay? So you, because you are grateful, you are happy. So when you are doing this act of gratitude every morning, what are we doing? We are building the muscle. We are building the muscle of gratitude. So over time, kya hoga? Ki you will be able to see the positive in anything. Now your friend is late. Friend is late. She has a habit of being late every time. And that used to annoy you a lot. But now you, when she's late, she'll think, she must have got stuck up somewhere, you know. Yeah, it's who your problem will give. But automatically, your mind will start seeing the good in it before it starts seeing the bad. I'm not saying it won't see the bad, but it will see the good first. So, so that is what gratitude does to you. And that is why positivity is the only way to live life. And there's a formula for this. So if you have this formula and you think about it, so we need to understand what to add. We need to understand what to add, what to remove, to what to change, and what to keep. These four things. So four things is knowing what to add, what to remove, what to change, and what to keep. This will give you a holistic transformation, which will make you an overall happy person. 
Okay. Now I wasn't I wasn't always uh, this kind of a person. So let's say I'm not perfect, but uh, I'm still working on myself. I, of course, we all are continuous learners. But uh, at the same time, I feel now I'm at that point. I have been for some time when actually nothing disturbs me too much. Whatever it is, I won't say it doesn't disturb me at all, but it doesn't disturb me too much. I'm able to bounce back. I'm able to fight the resilience. I'm able to keep this smile on my face, which has become a part of my face. People feel yes, it's a chera kyo rehta hai tera. I said it's just become like that. But there was a time when I used to feel Divya. Um, I used to feel unhappy almost every day. Every day I would find something or the other to feel unhappy about. Okay. So um, uh, the staff didn't show up on time because my whole day got messed up. My mood was All right, or you know, like uh, my husband did something which I didn't really like, and so like I'm but I'm but my whole day is gone. There are little things in life at work and at home, but I ended up thinking that I was just finding ways to be unhappy. I had something or the other to feel unhappy about, and one day just suddenly. It's surprising. I just looked at myself in the mirror and said, "Enough. What are you doing? What are you doing?" And that's when the start of my transformation as a person. It wasn't then because the first thing I did, I sat down. I want you all to do it if you haven't done it late uh, as soon as you're off the session. Write down what you are grateful for. A lot of people, out of five people, I meet three people. When you ask them, "Are you happy?" they say, "No." But they really don't know exactly why they're not happy. So, if out of five, three people can say that they're unhappy, sit down, sit down, and think of all the things that are good in your life. Take it in areas like a pie chart of the pizza of life. Take it relationships. Take your work and career. Take your personal life. Take your hobbies. Take your you know just just make your sections and write down how happy are you here. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, are you happy? Six. Are you happy? Eight. It might sound like a very calculative way, but as you will see what I'm getting to. So once you do this for all the areas, and you find, अरे यार, the relationship के वजह से मैं बहुत दुखी रहती हूँ. Otherwise, everything else is pretty okay. If you are eighty percent happy in your life, darling, you are a happy person. Okay, and if you are not there. Then identify the area where you want to work. Identify the area that you want to work on, and work on it. It's not the end of the world. Work on it. From one to ten, may agar wo teen pe hai, bring it to five, bring it to seven, and just see the happiness in just bringing three to five to seven. That happiness it will give you. So a lot of times you feel that you are unhappy, but actually you're not. You've got a lot going for you. You've got a lot going for you. You've just taken that one point or the two points, and you've harped on it. Maybe if your relationship with your spouse is not a good one, that is enough to make you feel unhappy every day. Okay, but what can you do about it, and how can you hone your other areas of your life and bring them up? And how can you take care of that relationship and do something about it? Whatever you need to do about it. Yeah. Right. So um. Yeah. Divya, if you want to say something, carry on because otherwise I'll just, you know, like you know, I just keep speaking. <laughs> no, you know what? It's like in life we, you know, keep thinking and talking about the ninety-nine things which makes us unhappy. As you rightly mentioned, we hover around. It keeps going on in our mind the ninety-nine reasons that we are unhappy about and. I think all of us need to look for that one reason, even if it's one, and multiply it into bigger, you know, make it a big reason. And I think right. we all need to focus that on that one reason to be happy. <laughs> yes, yes. So it's actually focusing. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, don't let distractions become your focus. But even if you're focusing on that one thing and you're feeling really happy, Vidya, I feel that you cannot ignore the other areas. What you need to do is to uplift the other areas also. So, I mean, uplifting—you're not only uplifting yourself, but you're doing a world of good to everyone else around. Okay. So, I'm going to give you now six powerful ways. All right. So, um, 
I hope they resonate with you. I love them all and it's worked wonders for me and for the people I have coached or, um, or mentored, let's say. Uh, because when you're coaching, you're not supposed to give any suggestions. So like when I'm mentored. Okay, so one is when you need to rewire your mindset. 60,000 thoughts are moving around in our mind every day, out of which 90% are negative. Okay, it's easy to say, how could you transform yourself from positive to negative? Easy to say, but difficult to do. All right, so I want you to visualize the good and the bad together. And here I'm giving you an analogy. I really want you to do this, all 20 of you, like just visualize yourself on a scooter. All right? So visualize yourself on a scooter and you are looking straight. What are you looking at? You are focusing on your mission in life, your vision in life, your purpose in life. And this is where you're going. And on a scooter, you can't look 10, ten areas, right? You got to look straight, right? So you're there. Now, what, what else is happening in your life? You are a generally happy person because our souls actually are all happy. No soul is unhappy. It's what we make of it. All right? So it's what we tell ourselves. It's how we think. It's our persp perspective. It's our responsibility. Response, ability. The ability to respond well is responsibility. So if I'm looking straight and focusing now, what is happening with, while I'm doing this? You see those scooters that have a sidecar, okay? So the sidecar are all my problems in life that keep cropping up. So they, I, I have chosen to put them in my sidecar. They are going to be with me forever. Our problems are going to be with us forever. So let me see uh, in the chat quickly. Our problems are going to be there with us forever. So if they are going to be there, say yes. Say yes. Let me see if you're all there. If you're all understanding what I'm saying. No. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Okay. So I, the people who are going to say no, I'm going to ask them what their thoughts are once I finish my analogy. Okay, thanks very much. So, so problems are always going to be there in our life. Chota, bada, jaisa bhi hai. Wo saath sa chalne wala hai. It's coming together with us. So that's our sidecar. But instead of magnifying the problems, let's try and put them on the side. Okay? So as we move along in life, then keep the, solve the problems. Solve the problems to the best of your ability. Do the best you can with them or think about them in the best way possible, depending on the problem and the situation. It's difficult to say now, but do that, but keep your focus still there. Your focus is still there, your problems are here on the sidecar, and they move along with you, and as you move along in the journey of life, you are solving them, you are solving them. And you're wearing a helmet, Divya, Satamji, uh, Bobby, Papu, Gurneet, I can't see anyone else, but okay, you're wearing a helmet. So what is the helmet? Your helmet is your coverage. It's your protective cover. All right, so if you fall on the floor, who's gonna uplift you? The energizers in your life. Who are the people who are the energizers in your life? Who are your cheerleaders? Who are the people who uplift you and really support you? They are going to lift you up. And who are you gonna stay away with and not fall bang down on the floor? or the road, you're going to stay away or find a way to distance yourself from drainers. All right. So your coverage, if you fall, the energizers uplift you. And otherwise, you stay away from the drainers. So that is your cover. So you see this whole visualization, if you keep it in your mind, you take it, I am still going to Focus on my mission and vision. I have my problem. But I'm going to keep solving them. And this is the problem today. I'm going to keep solving that. And I will move on. What are you doing to yourself? This is very important. This is the most important part. You are bringing yourself into a state of happiness. This is the state of happiness. Happiness is not just a state of mind. 
it's not just a state of body it's inside of you it's a state of being be it this is your being your internal being and when you get to that stage then you will find that you are able to cope with life and still stay happy not only stay happy you will be able to radiate positivity you will be able to radiate cheer you will be able to become that vibe you don't have to look for a vibe you are the vibe so this is a, a an analogy that really works for me i really love it i hope you enjoyed it the second thing is gratitude we know about gratitude the morning gratitude gratitude with money all right and um, remembering that happiness does not make you grateful necessarily it's the other way around gratitude makes you happy gratitude makes you happy no matter how much gifts you shower but the feeling of gratitude is something else altogether i want you all to note this down if you've not done this already please as a favor to me like during this week before this weekend write five thank you letters write five thank you letters to people you know let's start off with people you know maybe your family maybe it's your family maybe it's your friend maybe it's your boss five thank you letters so supposing i was going to write a thank you letter to divya divya i am so happy you are in my life from you i have learned so and so and so and so and so and i'm blessed to have you by my side i hope we never part thank you again it could be as simple as that you can make it long as well and i give this to divya all right first of all divya is going to be very surprised why because no one writes nowadays does anyone write anything nowadays no right she's going to be surprised and dikh diya kya diya tumne all right and then she reads it okay do you think she's going to be able to forget it if there is someone writes it with a whole heart would you keep that safely away or would you throw it away no i'll always keep keep it <laughs> you'll keep it it may be the priceless possession see, you you are already smiling you are already laughing just at the thought of it you just think of the feeling of happiness that you're going to feel and also radiate to someone and they're going to feel and they can never forget it all right now the the more difficult thing is to write a thank you letter to someone you don't get along with you thank you write a thank you letter and tell them what you've learned from them. say it in a nice way that person is going to be even more surprised than the person who really loves you already and i guarantee you you do five letters i do it almost every two months i should do it every month but i am being honest i don't <laughs> but every two months i do it so five letters you write i would love it if you should could just connect with me and let me know how you felt what it did for you what it didn't do for you maybe it didn't do anything for you maybe one letter was not what you thought but i really want you to experience that and if you feel that it's what then spread the word spread the word and get these thank you letters done it's a world of difference so saying thank you to someone you do not get along can be seen as sarcasm no um ajay i respect what you say but at the same time it really depends on how you pen that note if you say i know we don't get along but there is truly something that i do appreciate about you now if i was going to say write this and then tell them what they appreciate do you think it's going to sound like sarcasm okay so it's how you do it a communication skills is another thing that we all have to have to have to improve have to learn to be happier because we can screw up <laughs> your communi- communication is not good if you are talking to your son and the first thing you tell him you want to tell him off for something and the first thing you say you're so stupid why do you to do that do you think he's going to want to listen to you his mind is already shut off forget about doing what you are telling him to do he's not going to even want to listen to you right so aapka beta hai to bhi farak nahi padta hai aajkal pehle ki baat alag hai kuch bhi bol diya chal gaya but now we have to hone our communication skills 
the moment we label something you are always like this you never do this for me never and always just delete from your dictionary okay so that's to number 3 um avoid comparisons avoid comparisons again an analogy which i made and i love you are in your lane of life you are in your lane of life now in your lane of life you can crawl you can walk you can run and who can you compare yourself with only yourself you look over your shoulder and compare yourself ki main 6 mahine kya kar rahi thi aur abhi kya hu that is the comparison we should be making not the comparison to the next person in the next lane who is more successful than you let's say and you feel jealous of him because he has his own upbringing he has his own situation he has his own experiences you cannot compare yourself to him what you can do is draw inspiration from it draw inspiration from that person instead of comparing and i tell you believe me you're going to be a happier person you are going to be a happier person because you will look up to the people that you earlier didn't dislike or you dislike for some for this reason and you will compare yourself with only yourself now they say everyone is in the same boat right in life everyone's in the same boat in the coaching field everyone's in the same boat no we are not in the same boat we are in the same ocean satnam ji and all the coaches here we are all in the same ocean but we are in separate boats every situation every experience everything happening to us is ours so we have our own pace our own speed and things will happen for us as they are going to happen according to our situations in life so i mean let's avoid comparison all right so let's try and do that even if you just remember the analogy everyone it will just help you visualize visualization has great power if i visualize myself as a thin slim sexy woman with you know a red dress on a strapless red dress instead of this then i'm going to want to lose that 5 kilos if i visualize myself like that again and again and work okay so visualization has great power then self care number 4 self care we need to self care we need to take care of our passions and hobbies most importantly we need to smile have your face as the 10 past 10 10 past 10 and not a 7 not a 20 past 7 not a 20 past 7 now i'm not saying smile fakely no fake smiles as such i'm not saying smile fakely but have a slight smile on your face and that smile that stays on your face is going to do wonders okay so that smile is actually going to do wonders for you if you have it on your face i'm just putting a chat box to the left so that i can see love expression being in the in the ocean thank you yes all right so that is one other thing the morning routine everyone knows about one hour to yourself meditate read exercise what else anything else that brings you joy and happiness and you started off on a good note what happens here you started off on a happy note just aadmiyo ke liye bol rahe hai na ki the cycle is such if in the morning a man leaves his house happy after breakfast after meeting his wife children whatever he leaves happy he goes to the office he'll be a happier person he'll solve his problems in a happier way and because he's happy in the office he's able to do everything the way he wants to or at least you know try to when he comes home he's a happy man so a happy man comes home and he's able to spend quality time with his family in a much better way so it's a cycle it's a cycle to start off your day and that is why the morning routine is so important um divya i i think i'm just going on and on like i think i'll just quickly say the last two points so that uh, it's already like time over as such now this one is a very important one number 5 uh, the powerful way to actually feel happy now i've spoken about being happy being positive yes 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 Ha ha! Smile, smile, all goody goody. But it's not like that all the time. You have 
unhappy situation. You have family crisis. And to tell you the truth, friends, I am going through a family crisis right now. Right now. But I'm finding it within myself. I'm not there 100%, but I'm 80% there where I'm still in a state of being calm, being peaceful to myself, and finding the joy in everything else that is there in my life. All right? So what you need to do is if you're in a happy, unhappy situation or something like that, feel it. Don't, don't suppress it. Feel it. Feel it and reveal it. Let it all come out. You have to let it all come out. That is the path to happiness. All right? And by the way, the path to happiness, I said it wrongly. It's not, it's not a path to happiness. Happiness is the path. Happiness is the path. Happiness is the path. So I'm feeling it and I'm revealing it, all right, to myself, to others, what, however you want to. And then what you're going to do, you're going to deal with it. By that time, you'll be calm. All right? Vent it all out in the mirror to your friends, to your spouse, whoever you want to, all right? And then deal with it. Find a solution, the best solution possible. Try and take the positive out of the negative and deal with it. And once you feel that you've dealed with it, find action goals that you can do to move forward, to heal. With other things like meditation or anything that works for you, music therapy, all right? And once you've done that, thappa laga. Seal it. Seal it. I, I come, emerge a winner. I am the winner. Winner? Why? Winner of myself. And I am still happy. So these are the five words. If you want to write it down, like you feel, you reveal, you deal, you heal, and you seal. All right? And last but not the least, um, serve others. There is great joy. There's great happiness when you are able to do little acts of kindness. Tomorrow, I want you all, whoever your staff is at home, do something for them that they never expected. Just It may be by them snakes, or snakes and ladders. I don't know. All right? Do something small for them that they never expected and just see the joy, the smile on their faces. And not only that, then see what it does to you. See what it does to you. When we go to NGOs that help people, we do all that, do more of it, but do it with the people around you first and just see the joy that goes. So the password, the password within your family to feel happiness is reduce your expectation. Reduce your expectation and increase your acceptance. Increase your acceptance. Okay. So if there, um, I want you today, from, from the talk that we've had, I'm, I'm, I'm done with all the, you know, the points, all the six points, but I would love for you to write out two things that you'll do from our talk together that you've never done before. So as a small token for me, just for 30 seconds, write those two things down now. I'm not gonna ask you what they are, just write them now so that you don't procrastinate, okay? Write them now. Write the two things that you want to do that you've never done before. Feel the joy within. Feel the joy within. Okay. So you can elongate this. You can elongate this later. So live your life to the fullest. Live your life to the fullest. What you can do is to try and empower yourself to enrich your life, to evolve from an extraordinary person that you already are. Don't forget that you're unique to an extra, extraordinary person. Be the person you want to become. Be it. Be the masterpiece you deserve to become. So I think, Divya, I'm, I'm, I'm done because then I can just go on and on like, you know, but... Uh, I chose not to have any presentations or anything today because I just wanted uh, to be it, to be here, to be there in front of everyone and 
just to be able to voice my thoughts. You know, you were beautiful. Thank you so much, everyone. And looking forward with another session with Veena, ma'am, very soon. I, I think she has so much to offer. It will be amazing to have her again. And Thank lots you. of lots Thank of you. love to each one of you. I have shared the link of YouTube where Veena, ma'am, session will be live. I mean, will be will be there. So all of you can get back to the session again if you missed out on any point. And of course, you can forward it to all your loved ones so that so that maximum people can benefit <laughs> out of it. And please be there for each other. I think that's what matters. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. And take great care of yourself. And yes, thank you, everyone. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Night. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks for all the comments. Thank you so much. Thank you for being such a wonderful group here. Thank you. Bye, Divya. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.